Hello everyone, it's a pleasure to see you again. Thank you for coming. Thank you for taking time out of your activities to join me here. Well, for this session, I just wanted to just speak generally. Let's do this. You will agree with me that every one of us, whether we write it down or not, we do have a list in our subconscious minds. Some people go the extra mile of penning something, writing something, typing up something on their list. But one thing I have come to realize is the fact that life is made up of the list of either what we've lost or the incredible things which we have gained over the years plus those amazing things that we anticipate for the future. So today I asked a simple question, what is on your list? What is in your mind? Does your list of things include mostly what has occurred in the past, all those experiences that you've gone through, activities, events, relationships, whether good or bad, that you have experienced. And for most people, they are very good at remembering every negative thing that have occurred in their lives. They just enjoy revealing, torturing themselves, having the pity parties, just being miserable, remembering the box of tissues are constantly running out. Are you one of those? When you go through your list, you break down and weep and sometimes just blame the world, blame parents, siblings, husbands, children, God. That's not a good list to carry around with you. Or are you one of those whose list is rich with all the great blessings that you've been favored to have in your life? Yes, everything may not have gone the way we planned, but we have decided to be thankful people who look back with excitement, who enjoy the present and give God thanks for the future. We reminisce. We think about all the good things that have occurred. Yes, we are not where we desire to be. However, we give thanks for where we are today because at the end of the day, there are many who would love to swap places with us. So are you one of those grateful souls who look on their list? And just say thank you, Father, for everything on this list, whether they were good or not. Let me remind us that every single experience, every single thing that has happened to us, they come to us for various reasons. We may not see the bigger picture. We may not understand at the time. Yes, it will be painful, hurtful, devastating. It's, uh, it feels like we're being broken that God has abandoned us at the time. But give it a few weeks, a few months, a few years down the line. The whole picture clears up. You see the entire frame and you look back and say, thank you, Lord. God never abandons us. He sees us. Hence, I am stopping by to ask what is on your list. What are those things that you dwell upon most of all, most of the time. Do you always think about all that you have lost or you're giving thanks for what you actually do have right now? Life does not consist of only the things that have eluded us. We have a lot of things to be thankful for. Yes, there may be ill health, sickness, diseases, afflictions, failures, business crashing, family, lo lost of loved ones, broken marriage, broken relationship, children going astray. But you are still here 
to be able to rewrite the story, to continue writing, adding to that story what you choose to as you allow God to lead you. The list also includes the future. If you are not very excited at, about the past, the present, why not begin to make the list of what you wish to see in the future? Just pen down things. After all, we're told to write the vision, make it plain. Where is your vision? What do you hope to see going a few years ahead? Put them down. Yes, your faith may not be great enough, good enough, big enough to work and receive those things that you have, you have put down. But your faith will continue to grow as you allow it so that when the time comes for those things to manifest, you will be ripe, reasonable, responsible, matured enough to receive them into your life. So my dear friends, I'm just stopping by to ask us what's on our list. Make your list a list that you will look into and be grateful that you actually went through those things and you came out unscathed, still standing, not losing your faith, trusting God, hoping, believing for only the best. Yes, all the negativities may be, may be thrown at us, but we will not give up. We will continue to trust God because he has said in his word that he will never leave us nor forsake us. And we are holding and trusting him as we make our list and putting on top of that list, I am alive, I am well, I am getting better every day as I hold on to this God who can be trusted in all things. What is on your list, my friend?